All right, Kalinga faculty, we have finally come to the place that we are going to uh, link up or integrate Illumin into the Canvas site. So what uh, happens here is that you're able to do your uh, assessments, put in the scores, and it will show up in the gradebook here. Let's, let's take a look at a few things you need to set up. Now this does need to happen every single semester for every single shell that you get in on Canvas. So every single semester you do have to do this as an initial setup for what you're going to assess. All right, let's go for it here. So I'm going to go to, this is the uh, My West Hills portal here. You're going to go to My Courses. All right, and I already logged in ahead of time here. So I'm going to go to My Courses, and the course that I'm going to use is my Fireball Math 15 class. Going into here. So this is my front page. This is the way I have my front page. And what you want to go to is you want to create an assignment. That's how it's going to be presented here. So under the assignments page, you're going to create an assignment. Now I have different categories for my assignment. Would you guys probably have the same thing here? So there's the uh, homework. There's all my homeworks that I uh, have. These are my exams and also my final. That's the basic structure of assignments to turn in. And so notice uh, if you want to make another category here, a group called SLOs, that's fine. Uh, but uh, one thing you should remember is that every individual SLO needs to be an assignment. So it's SLO1, SLO2, SLO3, all those different pieces need to be actually the assignment itself. So I'm going to create a little category here. I'm going to create a little group and I'm going to call them SLO. All right, so notice on the bottom here, you should see, hey, there it is, SLO. Now let's create the assignment itself. So creating the assignment. And you can call this however you want to call this in the gradebook, because when you link it up, the, uh, the prefix that we have to all these SLOs, they're still housed in Illumin. So this could be whatever you like. I can put course level SLO number one, you can say graphing, graphing SLO, whatever you want to do. You can put whatever name you want here. All right, and then you got to think about the point system. Uh, in my syllabi, I have syllabus. In my syllabus, I have five SLOs listed. And in my syllabus, it says that SLOs exams are all uh, all together they're worth 50 points. So that means each one of my SLOs is worth 10 points a piece. And the assignments group that I labeled is this is my SLO right here. And I'm going in terms of points here. And where do you go ahead to uh, link it? Here it is. Here's the part where you link the assignment to the external tool. So Canvas has this. There's uh, several different uh, built-in features into Canvas. So as you go down, you're going to look for this one right over here. That's the Illumin-WHCC. Please do not hit Lamore, because then you're going to link up Lamore SLOs with your class, and it gets really crazy here. So don't do that. Just make sure you click on West Hills College Kalinga. OK, so now it's going to capture that particular Illumin piece. And then if you want to fill in, this is for you, if you want to fill in a due date, uh, available until when all this good stuff here that's all yours to fill in if you need to I'm not going to fill it in for now and you can either save it if you're not waiting to publish it or you can just publish it right away I'm gonna publish it right away alright so here's the piece itself as you click on it you're gonna have a listing of all the courses that are listed for you in in Illumin that are connected to you as faculty member and so these are mine uh, I am collected I'm connected to these two as uh, as data steward here but um, go back up here yeah since this is the fireball class you want to connect it to the fireball just make sure that you don't cross um, uh, you pick the right one that you need to here okay so I'm still setting up the first one so it's fireball class fireball class and I'm going to want to link this one right here. So link this assignment. You know, it does say that once you do this, you can't be modified. So you are permanently linking this. All right, once you do that, you can click Save and Go. And what's going to come up 
is your roster of students and a grade to give for each student right here. So uh, there's your roster of students right over here. And this is probably not the best way we like to put in scores, so the scorecard view is the better way. That's going to list all your students all at once and the grade that you're going to give them. And so this one right here, I kind of pre-scored this already. All right, so let's go for it here. All right, and the scorecard view is going to give you this view of things here. Here's a uh, notice on the uh, left hand side. These are all the students in the class. And I picked a small class to get through this faster here. There's the SLO itself. And then you have your equivalent of an A, a B, a C, D, or F. And then NA just means that they did not even take the exam. So there's an NA here. So the scores will not count against you in the final piece here. So let's go for it here. I have my scores already. And I had two people not take the exam. That's this one. And then let me scoot over here. And let me put in the scores now. There. And a D there and a C there. Okay. All right. With that, you have one of two choices here. And you can say send scores to the learning management system, and this was going to convert them and put them in your gradebook right away. Here, I suggest you do this first, and once you do that, then you can go on to the reflection template here. So, all right, when you put the scores into your gradebook, it's going to ask whether you want the recommended score. So, essentially, what's happening here is just a multiplier. Um, there was five different grades I could have gave. Uh, ten points are possible, so it's just going to multiply by two what I ever gave to the student here. And now uh, the one thing you have to do is you do have to click individually here. That's the no fun part here. You got to click individually for every student. Go down the list just to make sure that's the score that you really want to give them and you send the scores. Now the scores are now entered into my gradebook. It is part of the class. It is all good to go. Alright, you can keep them there for a little while here. And you can save it if you like, if you want to come back to it later. Or what you want to do is you want to go to the reflection template. Alright, and the reflection template. Here we go with this one. And notice it's just a window that you normally would do in a lumen. So it's a picture in picture, pretty much. All right, the reflection template. Now, uh, the first three questions uh, talk about the assessment piece itself. And so, do you think it aligned? Is that what you really wanted to test by the time you actually tested it? Uh, did you think you tested it satisfactorily? Is this the way you want to test it? So I had a, a multiple choice exam. Maybe this maybe this really requires a free response is better. Maybe this really requires an essay. All these activities here. So the activity itself, and then the other one is: Did you really get good, valid, accurate data, or was it just all over the place? So that's the next piece. All right. The next set of questions deal with the results themselves. So. You have. Were there anything surprising or unexpected in the data? I just wrote in four students didn't even take the work, didn't even turn in the work. And again, I just kind of put in my own thoughts into here already. Were there any areas where the performance was outstanding? Well, that's good. They, all students used the correct formula. There's none that did not use the correct formula. That's good. That was a good part of the exam. All right. <coughs> Uh, what uh, students' uh, issues revealed? Uh, yeah, the fact that it was pretty high. From those students, there's four that did not even turn the exam. And then I did get a perfect score on one of them. Okay, and then again, put in whatever you like, the more the better. If you really want to talk about the assessment results, the fact that, especially in the lab setting, when they're doing something, you say, yes, they did this part 
whole class did this part of the test very well. This was not good. Uh, these um, responses will actually be held in a lumen, and you can use these responses particularly to um, to be included in program review. So that's kind of where they go to, and then eventually, eventually, they bubble up into the institutional level as well. So we can see those. So the more information you like to put in here, the better. Please do. Please take the time to really uh, think through uh, the responses here. All right, you can save as a draft. You'll be sitting here to finish it off if you want to do it now. Okay, so the difference between these two buttons, this submit and share, that means when you're going to look at program review, uh, your name will be attached to these uh, answers on the reflection template. All right, if you want to share anonymously, your name is not going to be included in there. No. So whatever your preference is, I just put my name on there just in case two years down the road we are doing program review and we want to get some more information they at least know who to go talk to to think through and so if this person right here I put in this this class really needs to be a six unit class because there's so much content into here I want my name to be associated with that so when program review time comes we can have a department discussion of uh, changing the unit value to this class and they'll know who to go to. All right, so submit and share. There it is. And so we're going to skip these pieces for now. We're going to go to uh, the grade book, better be there here. So you look at grades over here, and voila, you notice it's already in the grade book sitting there as part of your grades for the class right over here. So out of 10 points, I had two people. Again, that scored perfect. And again, the numbers don't make sense because the reflection templates were a little different. I use different ones for it here, but anyways, um, there it is, connected to Illumin, connected to your grade book, and everything is in there right away. All right, hopefully that uh, helped you as we looked at the integration of Canvas and Illumin.